moving forward, we're going to touch a little bit on, uh, you know, Utah banning the use of trail cameras and, and claiming that it's not fair chase. Kind of want to talk about the impacts that has on, you know, your DIY guys compared to your guides and the, the resources that they bring into the state and, and how that might impact them. I don't really, I mean, obviously I don't agree with it, but it doesn't affect obviously pr probably any of us, but my fear is where it could pave the way for other state agencies to go. And I don't know. I feel like it's just an odd, like trail cameras have been around for however long. Like, I could at least understand if you're banning like cell cams during season or something like not that I'd agree with that either, but there's at least more of an argument there. But just banning trail cameras as a whole, I've, I don't really understand the whole the whole deal there. Pretty much. Yeah, I think it's gonna be just like baiting. I mean, I feel like people still bait even though it's banned, and I feel like that's gonna happen with trail cameras too. I feel like, I mean, maybe public it'll be a little harder to get away with, but especially on private, I mean no one's going to know if you're using a trail camera or not, you know? Well, and like the, I think the law is written as what it, trail cameras are banned in the aid of, you know, hunting where like you can still be used for other stuff. So if you're a landowner wants to say like, you've got a trail camera up to monitor, you know, trespassing on your property, i.e. looking for big bucks yeah, <laughs> or, right. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's going to hurt me. So, or the public thing. so like technically could a for a, could a public like that sounds like a really gray area somebody could use them on public and say they're monitoring how much other activities in the area as far as hunting pressure like right that's a really gray area like i put this camera up to see if other people are back in here versus i put this camera up to get pictures of deer like yeah yeah, I don't know if the laws yeah, are sounds like a great for, idea to me. for public to private or not, but either way, it seems weird. Yeah. I just think it's a weird thing to ban, like, because all you ever hear with in the hunting industry is trying to get hunter recruitment, people interested in the sport. Um, I mean, if you're going to attack this, you could really attack anything. You could attack crossbows, you know, and you name it, like why why go after something like this that could spark interest in hunting not only that it can also improve your management practices you know i don't know about you guys but i think when you look at the increase of quality of whitetails in the last 15 to 20 years i strongly believe that a lot of it um you could say is due to the increase in technology of trail cameras people finally for once were realizing what was on the landscape and what they should and shouldn't be shooting as to 20 years ago, they didn't have a clue. They just went and sat in the woods. So I think it's made people better managers. It's made people more efficient hunters. So I don't, I guess me personally, I don't, I don't understand why people have such a bad beef with it. Um, and I don't see it looking as, you know, making it easier by any means. It's not like you guys know how many days you sit in the field um, and how many tags you, you know often fill on a season like it doesn't make it a whole lot easier um and i just feel like it it's a tool that can be used to increase hunter education recruitment and you know spark interest into the sport spark make people better at how they practice management on their property or what you know scouting on public lands seeing hunting pressure if there's hunting pressure or not hunting pressure like i don't know it just seems like a very stupid stupid thing to attack and and I don't really get why hunters are attacking other hunters in something like this. Like we're 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 eventually going to ban ourselves out of hunting if we keep this shit up. Yeah. Like I haven't read up on it much, but like what's what's the whole reasoning behind banning it? Like, do they have well, certain reasons they're doing it? So I did a little bit of digging into it. I know like a lot of the western states, the like Arizona is one of the states that's banned it. Um, Utah recently, uh, I had it on my phone here just a little while ago, see if I can find it again. Uh, Arizona and Nevada are both states that have full bans on the use of any trail cameras for hunting purposes. Uh, Utah just got added to that list. Uh, Montana, Kansas, and New Hampshire and Alaska have partial bans prohibiting the use of wireless cellular cameras in the in, uh, during season. No kidding. 
And so Kansas, even on private land, you can't? That I'm not sure on. It, this is just what it says on Google. So don't take my word to, words totally for it. You probably have to look it up a little bit more in depth. Um, Kansas is new to me, though, because I did not, I was not aware of that change. But I don't know. It just, it just seems like a crazy thing to attack, in my opinion. And like we were talking about earlier with the gray area, like I'm literally reading right now, it says last week, the Utah Wildlife Board voted to ban the use of trail cameras for hunting when the motion activated devices are used in the taking of big game. So it's like, Jesus. Well, and did you read the, whatever this guy's name is, the, I think he's the Utah director, wildlife board director or something. This is a, a direct quote, quote from him saying, uh, um, in regards to like trail cam or technology at this point we know where they are bet we know where they bed we know where they're where they water we know where they feed we've taken a little bit of the hunting out of hunting which i don't know about you guys but i don't need a trail camera to figure out where deer are gonna <laughs> water feed and travel i'm using it to see what quality animals are in the area and if it's mm -hmm. worth hunting so his statement i think is just complete bullshit. Well, like you hit it perfectly oh. earlier. I mean, look how many trail cameras we run, and it's not like you just walk in there and kill them. <laughs> like we yeah. still struggle all fall to kill them. Like it's and not a like lot of, that easy. Look at right. look at like Mansell. How many years of how many trail camera pictures of baby Swiss do you have over the course of five years? And you, you know what I mean? A couple, like you couple just, thousand. You just decide on November or whatever. Like, hey, I think I'm gonna go kill baby splits today. Yeah. yeah. Baby split, you know. Yeah, I mean, if, if it was that easy, it wouldn't have taken me five years to do it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but but a lot of, like, a lot of the Western <laughs> states' arguments is that the, a lot of these hunters, especially on public land like Arizona, things like that, they're putting them on water holes. Um, some of these people go to water holes, and there's like eight or ten trail cameras, and it's impacting how these animals are coming to water, you know, and pushing them away from water holes in areas where – um, water is a very limited fact, you know, limited resource in Arizona. So it's stressing them out even more. Some cases like that, I can, I can totally see it. But in other situations, I, me personally, especially with hunting whitetails, I use cameras so I don't have to be in the woods. I don't know about you guys, especially with cellular cameras. Um, I put a cellular cameras on, you know, Wisconsin, Wisconsin properties and, at least down in uh here in iowa and i didn't have to put batteries in it for six months that and one of them was in on the edge of a bedding area like i didn't have to go near that bedding area for six months so i it greatly increased it seemed like the amount of deer that were active daylight on the property so to say that they pressure deer i think it really depends on the situation of where you're hunting where you're using them and if you're if you're in an area where there's nine other cameras on a water hole, maybe you should really consider why you're even hunting in that area in the first place. Yep. Yeah. Hundred <clears throat> percent. I mean, I think another way to look at it too is like your your western, like let's say in Utah. I mean, unless you're hunting in a spot that you you know you got a big outfit and you're running a bunch of cameras, how many of those western guys are actually utilizing cameras? You know, like look at it from the other way. Like if you're hunting elk and stuff, a lot of that's just spot stock, your glass and you're doing all that. How many of them guys are actually going in, pulling trail cameras, doing stuff like that? I mean, is there a mm -hmm. huge number? Like, is it, you know, 90% of guys out there that hunt are using trail cameras or is it only people that are running big outfits and they got the time to run in there, you know, every couple of days and check cameras and stuff like that? Or, you know, it's, I feel like it's out there. It's not like, in the Midwest where, you know, you're hunting whitetails, you're running cell cams and it's a, a huge deal. I mean, unless, you know, is it a big thing that they run trail cameras for elk and mule deer and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't hunt out there, but. I feel like they yeah, use it for the same reason we do inventory, you know, so they can show their clients what deer they're working with and what deer they can shoot, what they can't shoot and stuff like that. So it'd be tough. Yeah. For outfitters, I feel like. Yeah, I feel I like they would have a big impact. But I mean, like, look at your DIY guys. You know, right. are they 
are they messing around with cameras? I mean, a lot of your guys are going out there five, seven days out of the year and they're hoping to get it done. Like I don't see those guys running in and putting a bunch of trail cameras up. They just want to get to a big, you know, a high spot glass and, and make moves. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, unless you're, you know, a guy from the Midwest or out East, that's a diehard Western hunter. I could see them going out putting cameras in the summer, but there ain't that many of them kind of people out there. Right. They're doing that. It's good. It's all your local. It's going to be all your local hunting pressure. That's, that's doing stuff like that. Just my experience with hunting Arizona you know, we when we went, went on a mule deer a few years ago, <clears throat> and I believe at the time then it was legal still to put cameras out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but our biggest issue was we were hunting in a couple spots where we knew there was deer and there there was water holes, active water holes. But air, it, how Arizona set up is on public land. There's just roads everywhere, and there's so many people that are just recreational UTV riding things like that. We got more screwed up by UTV riders than we did by hunters or trail cameras or things like that nature. Like that was the biggest issue that we ran into, in my opinion, is the the stress that that all these recreational people were putting on the landscape compared to hunting pressure mm-hmm. or 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 trail camera, you know, pressure people coming and checking trail cameras. We never seen a trail single trail camera on any of the water holes. You know, we we put up. I mean, I'm sure. You know, if we post this, there'll be someone who says, well, I hunt in Arizona and I've seen 15 trail cameras on a water or whatever. But um, like I said before, maybe you should be reconsidering where you're hunting then if that's the case. I don't know. I, I think eventually there's going to be enough hunters bitching about it to where it's either not going to last long or. I, yeah, I just don't get why, why everyone in the hunting world needs to attack everyone else's hunting practices. Like, I just feel like we have enough other problems to deal with outside of it. Why are we trying to regulate ourselves so much out of the sport? Because mm-hmm. yeah. eventually, eventually that's going to be the case is, is there's not going to be the people in it doing it because of that. I think they're just, I, I have, I have opinions on, I, deer. exactly. That, and that's, that's <laughs> big, one of the big issues too, is there's people that are successful and they've found a way to be successful using it. And anytime, anytime you have success doing something and someone else can't doesn't they try to figure out ways to change the system on you mm-hmm. i mean i have you know all of us we've talked about it before we all have opinions on crossbow hunting too but i'm not gonna tell people that they can't use them right because in the end of the day it's i mean it's, it's still hunting it's still hunting you know it's i think it just needs to be regulated just how you know if if it's a if it's an issue like in some of these states then maybe yeah you need to have some sort of regulation but to do a full out ban just seems crazy to me b what you thinking buddy i think it's a load of shit <clears throat> i mean a camera a, a trail camera doesn't kill the deer you still have to know what you're doing and legally to legally harvest a deer trail cameras aren't doing that for you um i know jp mentioned it i don't know that western hunting um trail cameras impacted as much as they do whitetail hunting in the midwest i know when i was helping guide in south dakota we were running 40 50 trail cameras and you couldn't pattern a mule deer like you would very very rarely get a mule deer on camera like you're you can pattern whitetails no doubt about it and and figure out their movements and and stuff like that but mule deer seem to just wander around aimlessly a lot of the time so i don't know the impact of trail cameras not you know for elk and mule deer and western game like that but obviously they're a huge player for whitetail hunters um but i think the fact that states like utah and arizona and nevada are banning them is complete shit like you still have to go out and put in the time to kill an animal a trail camera is not killing an animal for you amen Mm -hmm. (laughs) just ended on a mic drop (laughs) 